pretty horrendous conditions to now have it showing up as beautifully as it is here. It's just a credit to them. And this is Justice Bossio, a birdie putt, a long range. Birdie putt, and how about that? Wow. The amateurs are <laughs> on fire today. Um, Megan McLaren's drawn a really nasty break here. She's got a poached egg lie at the top of this bunker. This will come out with top spin and she'll do really well to stop anywhere near the flag. She's played a brilliant shot. Trickles down the hill. It's still going to just trickle to the edge of the green, but that from where she was, that was a fantastic effort. Yeah, it's just not... Just trickles off, still gathering pace. Oh, yeah, it's run off, run off the edge, oh, no. it down. That was a bit of a shame because she couldn't have done a lot with that. You know, just getting it out, you know it's going to run. Now it's game on. And uh, it's going to be very, very exciting as we make this turn into the back, as we watch Stark now for birdie. This would be her third today. Well, we expected that, didn't we? We, yep. we really thought that might be the case. But the warning sign is for her to do it, as she has done there. Averages four and a half a, a tournament. To do it, in the have three in the first nine, look out. And she's putting a really good, strong, smooth stroke on her putt. So she's got a really good feel for these greens. So look out from Maya Stark. Now equal leader with Carmen Alonso. She birdied that hole. Just going with an iron, Mark. Yeah, 177, Sandy. Took on the bunker on the right side of this fairway. She's pulled that, and that's going well and dangerously left. Ew. Wow, this is a key moment for the Spanish woman here. That's gone into places where sick elephants go to die, I think, unfortunately. Yeah, well, you'll have to hot foot it over there. Leader on the previous hole, and this is the amateur Justice Bossio, who's really lit it up on the final day on the ninth. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Phenomenal. Back on the ninth. Our leader, Maya Stark, has a one-shot lead. This will make it a two-shot lead to go eight under and turn for home with that two-stroke advantage over the group at six under. Oh, that's ominous for the rest. Four birdies already on her front nine and with full confidence going into the back. Sarah Hammett is on the 12th. This is a birdie putt for her to go to seven under. Had a birdie opportunity on the 11th. Can she make this one on 12? Oh, that's beautifully done. One shot off the leader is Sarah Hammett. Seven under, 15 years of age. McLaren from 14 feet up the hill, a little bit from left to right. Not much in it. Really big chance here on this hole. The 10th the back nine action starts. McLaren's got to get it there and she does. A huge roar. She's got a bit of a fan club here at Coffs Harbour where she's been so successful and she finally gets that break. Maybe that can kick start her just as it did yesterday on the 15th. Got it. Playing out of her skin at the moment. 18 years of age from the Caboolture Golf Club. What a round from Justice Bossio. Six under after 14. And why wouldn't you start to believe? This is Hannah Burke for birdie to go six under on the par three seventeenth. Oh, and she's in on the party now. Yeah. Party six time. Under <laughs> for Hannah Burke. What a round. She started the day at evens and is six under through 17 holes and she leads by one. Third shot. Trying to get up and down here to maintain that one shot lead. Always in danger of doing that. Now she's got a problem. Just a real, just, just that is, and she just tossed the club down in frustration. This is the crucial, crucial putt here. Just the wheels getting a little shaky for Maya Stark. She's been pretty much faultless. Is bogey free through this round at the moment. And takes her back into a tie with four, with, there'll be four of them at minus seven. Has to make the putt though. 
Oh, oh dear. Wow, that is um, – well, and, and she hasn't got this one yet either. A nine under 63. This is Sarah Hammett, the current leader at the moment, looking – oh, that's very, very good. Very good, Sandy. What a great read that was. And, and nearly – the perfect pace but great read again I, I don't think we can harp on this too much 15 years old the opportunity as we go back to stark for birdie at the 15th uphill putt go on oh she's not given in yet she's <laughs> Just coming had back that little hiccup <laughs> and now she has a share of the lead at eight under birdie here Take the outright lead. Yes. Five under day one. Had a two under day two. And now nine under is back in the lead again. Thought she'd lost a grip on it. You can tell Gee, she's by the fought, smile. She's fought hard, hasn't she? Like, she's really stuck it out. There's been moments when, you know, it's, it's not quite gone her way. But there we go, sitting at the top of the leaderboard. She's actually got a shoot out of these trees here that should enable her. Um, she's got an iron in her hand, so she's definitely try not trying the hero shot. Just picking a number down the fairway and the way she plays, it's probably a bit over 110 metres. So realistically here, she's trying to hit this about 135 metres. A fairly straightforward shot now, you'd have to say, out of that shoot, and she's done very well, straight down the middle. That's really quality thinking over there with her f father and caddy, Mark, to, to play under that pressure is, is really clear thinking like that is a sign of good things to come. Now this part is to tie the lead for the moment for Maya Stark. Remembering McLaren is down the centre of the fairway on this reachable par five. Oh, and that's a very good birdie. It's a very good round of golf from Maya Stark. 67 today, so at five under on today's round. She's been hitting the ball pretty high all day. Slight right to left is her preference, but she's going to have to catch all of it, whatever she does. Really, that's rip, and it's much lower than it has been. It's going left. Oh, bounces off the rocks, up the cart path. That is a complete lottery now They're over there to the left. Okay, well, wow, what a moment. She really had to launch down into that to try to get up to the green and threw everything but the kitchen sink at it. And it... Now, this is an, an eventful way to finish a championship here for Carmen Alonso. She's uh, found her ball in the garden beds between the first tee and the 18th green here at beautiful Bonville. But it's an unplayable situation for her and she's seeking to take relief with a penalty drop. And it's going all the way back to near the practice green, up above the first teeing ground here. So it's a, I can't imagine there's been many times at all in the history of uh, this great club that there's been a third shot played from the practice green uh, to, this, to this green here. Uh, it's going to come as a real surprise when a ball flies here. It's about 65, 70 metres. She's got to kick a goal between a few trees, uh, fly over an entire garden bed, um, she's still got a massively difficult task in front of her here and she's going to be playing her fourth when she takes this drop. She's just clearing it up with JP here, the uh, senior official from the LET. There. Oh, that's oh, something special. Oh, wow. Oh, stop. This is oh, unfortunate, though. Oh, it doesn't deserve though. this. That's very good. Yeah. That, that was... There was not... You'd have Anybody's to be guess proud what was going to happen there. Oh, yeah. It can, as Hazy so well pointed out, gets a high five too from <laughs> the official. JP, the official there. It makes a fantastic fist of the closing round. Won a lot of friends here this week, the Spaniard, and she acknowledges the crowd. Generous applause. Now, this is the very big moment. This to win for Megan McLaren. Birdie putt to go to minus 10 and the 2022 champion. She deserved it. Well done. That 
is a great result. Started uh, with an outstanding five under par round in the first round in, in horrific condition. Battled it out through the second over two second round over two days. Yes, she oh, did, and she go. gets the champagne shower <laughs> as well. Just a, a testament to not just skill, but to resilience, to, to mental fortitude. That 500 day followed up by 200 day, her seventh professional win. She loves playing in Australia. Two New South Wales Opens in 18, 19, and now the fourth ever winner of the Australian Women's Classic. It was Steph Kuriaku two years ago. It was Marianne Skarpnord in 2019.